Hey, beautiful babes. Hey, it's your girl, Sweet Angel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. This video has been highly requested, highly requested. People are asking, they want to know, girl, what you do for those hands? Yes, beautiful babes, welcome in, welcome in. If you are a newbie to the channel, first time you see in my face, thank you so much for coming through. I appreciate you so much. And listen, I want to stay connected with you, so make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel, become one of my beautiful babes, and when you join the family, you know the family needs to know when you're coming through. So hit the post notification bell and do me a favor. You know who I am now, right? Yeah, I'm Sweet Angel. That's it. But who are you? Please introduce yourself in the comments. That's right. Let me know who you are and where are you watching from? I am so curious to know. I am just elated that y'all hang out with me, but I want to know who you are. So if you are an oldie but goodie and you've been here time and time again and you have not said a thing to me, let me know you are here. Please do that. Leave your name down below. Let me know where you're watching from. And also, if you don't mind, drop your girl some hearts because you know I love hearts. They truly inspire me. So I am inspired today to do this one by the many requests and people want to know about my hands. Now me, I don't think my hands are all that special, but you know, I thank y'all for, you know, inquiring about them. But to me, usually taking care of the hands is kind of simple because as I'm doing my face, I'm working on my face, I'm moisturizing my face, I'm handling my body, exfoliating my body, the hands get the fun too. So we can't leave them out. So for sure, most of us have a skincare regimen that we do for our faces, but we oftentimes forget about the hands. Oh my. Now for a woman, I'm heading on up to 60, y'all. For sure, for sure. Slowly but surely, getting there. But you know, as we age, the skin on the back of our hands, it starts to thin out. So there's no cushiony fat back there. And so guess what? You find yourself with the wrinkles. You find yourself with aging looking hands. The reduced volume and decreased elasticity produces translucent skin that wrinkles and sometimes even develop age spots. Now y'all know our hands do a lot for us, but they take some rough treatment every single day. We expose our hands to the sun and other noxious elements more than any other part of our body. And because they do so much, your hands get washed so much more throughout the day. And they really should be these days. Of course they should. The frequent washing in hot water removes the natural oils that lubricate our skin and that protects them against dryness and cracking. So what do we do? We need to give our hands some daily spa time. And that's what I'm here to share with you. Some easy things that I personally do, which I don't even think about it at all. These are just things that I do on a regular that I know my hands need. And let me tell you this, you can have a big impact on the look of your hands by just doing these simple, easy little tasks. And you'll see an improvement of your hands almost immediately. Let's get to it. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is protecting your hands. Yes, you must protect your hands. Now, what I use to protect my hands is sunscreen of an SPF of 50 or higher. Simply use this every single day and reapply it frequently. And don't forget about wearing gloves if you're outdoors for a prolonged period of time and even when cleaning. An SPF on the hands is great and also using gloves. Now, do you wear gloves when you wash dishes? A lot of people don't, but what I make sure I do is protect my hands after I finish, moisturize them, definitely after finishing 
washing dishes. Now, beautiful babes, just talking about moisturizing the hands. Y'all remember back in the day, ladies, we would carry a purse and we would have the whole house in it pretty much. But now we got these dainty little purses and we can't take around the things that we know we be needing throughout the day. And one thing is lotion, lotion. You must have lotion. Even if you just carry a small tube of lotion with you. Now, excuse my messy desk, but I just wanted to share with y'all some of the lotions that I love using for not only my hands, but my body as well. First, I'll talk about, again, the Nivea Cream. I'll have all the links of these products listed below. You know how I do it. All right. Nivea. Great. Now, what you have here is a bunch of lotions that all are going to have either lanolin in them, petroleum in them, mineral oil in them, or glycerin in them. That's going to help moisturize your skin. One of my favorites, top notch, is this Avon Moisture Therapy Intensive Healing and Repair Lotion. So good. Hydro Boost Technology, for real, for real. This will help dry skin, cure dry skin for extra dry skin. Honey, if you got eczema, try this. And the other great part is it is unscented. Another great one, Firm and Titan. This is a collagen body cream. This is so, so good. I get this from Amazon and it is amazing. I like to put this for whatever reason, my thighs, when I wear pants, you know, the skin just dries and I put this on my thighs, my legs, my ankles, my buttocks. This is so good in the winter time to help to moisturize your skin or anytime. It is very moisturizing. Then we have the Avon Moisture Therapy if we're talking about just for the hands. This is a hand cream. It's intensive healing and repair hand cream. This is for extra dry skin, again, with the Hydro Boost, just like the body lotion here. So you have this. Put this in your purse. It's small enough to fit in your purse. And then we have, ooh, Vaseline. What? You use Vaseline? Yes, use Vaseline. This, if you don't have anything else, Vaseline is it, honey. This is all you need. As soon as you wash your hands, get they have tiny jars of this. Put it in your purse. Moisturize your hands. This helps lock in the moisture. Help your skin stay preserved. Yes, it does. And then I have a final lotion here, which is the Avon's Skin So Soft Original. This one, again, is very great for replenishing the skin on dry hands. Again, several choices, a bunch of choices. You don't have to choose these, but honey, get you some lotion, put you a tube in your purse, create your own little bottle, and honey, you're in business. Take care of your hands. Keeping hands hydrated is the key to counteracting creppy skin. Apply lotions or creams frequently throughout the day. This will help your skin retain its elasticity. The one that I love and I keep this one by my desk when I'm working in here all the time is Nivea Cream. Nivea Cream contains lanolin, which is known to help moisturize and lock in the moisture in your skin. This one is perfect and it smells good too for moisturizing your hands. It's very thick, but you get in there and you moisturize them thoroughly. Don't forget about around the cuticles. Make sure you moisturize them thoroughly and bring it on up bring it on up bring it on up yes and boom hands moisturize they need it they are thirsty quench their thirst so now moving on to even before you moisturize know this exfoliation is important exfoliation is important that comes to your face your body your feet and definitely your hands. The truth is, dry skin is dead skin. Try using a simple mixture of lemon and sugar to exfoliate your hands. Simple as this, I just took half of a lemon. Take a little bit, I squeeze it on there, dip it into the sugar, and exfoliate your knuckles, your hands, or your fingers 
your inner hands for calluses. Yes, all over the palm of your hands. You know, some people have driving corns that come up on their backside of their knuckles. Take care of your hands. Exfoliate them thoroughly. And what this is going to do, just using this simple mixture of lemon and sugar to exfoliate, it'll also help to tone your skin. And once you complete, rinse off, cleanse your hands off, and then follow up with a lotion or a cream. If you can, one that contains lanolin. These types of treatments will help to improve the texture and tone of your skin. They'll also help reduce wrinkles and correct uneven and irregular pigmentation. And wow, just exfoliating my hand that short period of time, oh my gosh, they're so soft. It feels so good. It doesn't feel like my hand, as a matter of fact. That's why it's important once you exfoliate the dead skin off, off your knuckles, make sure you go ahead and moisturize. And now I'm going to go back into my Nivea cream which I love and it smells so good. I just take a little scoop here and moisturize those hands. Yes, girl, that's what it takes. That's what it takes. Now you can take off your rings and stuff. Sometimes I don't, y'all know me. You've seen my videos time and time again. That is what I do and I put the rest all over my arms and elbows okay take care of those elbows that lemon and sugar is also good if you got dark elbows so use it for that as well yes now that feels so so good absolutely wow i love it anywho now when it comes to your hands a lot of people do have dark spots, age spots that are on the hands. You do need to correct that. And of course that comes from sun exposure or age. It's as simple as lemon juice. Yes, lemon juice will help to lighten those dark, those dark spots or treat those age spots. But you can also buy over-the-counter topical bleach creams. Now I don't use a lot of those. I will totally go with something that I've whipped up myself, especially with lemon juice or baking soda, things of that nature. But here is a scar cream that I have used like on my face mainly for eliminating dark spots uh, when you have a pimple, acne scars, etc. This is one from Purity Naturals. Y'all know I love me some Purity Naturals and I use their products quite a bit. This one is also very moisturizing. So if you're using it on your hands for age spot treatment, then it is again very moisturizing as well. So it will kill two birds with one stone. Very much so. As you can see, my hands have thoroughly been moisturized now, okay? And also, I wanted to share with y'all some amazing treatments that I've used time and time again to help in correcting acne scars, age spots, hyperpigmentation, things of that nature. Sometimes you can start eliminating the dead skin on the hands, the knuckles, but you still have the darkness and so on. These particular treatments are great for the hands to restore youthfulness, to abate the wrinkles and lines and things of that nature, to get smoother, younger looking hands. Let me just share with y'all about five easy treatments that you can go to, probably have them in your kitchen or in your medicine cabinet. Listen, very simple. The first one is just to mix one tablespoon of toothpaste and two drops of lemon juice until smooth. Apply this to your knuckles and your hands daily. Leave it on for about five to 10 minutes and then rub your hands together and then rinse off. Make sure you rinse off with a mild hand soap and moisturize. You'll hear that a lot. Moisturize. Continue to use this for about two weeks or until you achieve the desired results. The second recipe is just to take two tablespoons of almond flour or even crushed almonds. 
and you'll find the ingredients and also a ready shop link in the description box with that two tablespoons of almond flour take two tablespoons of plain or greek yogurt mix those two together and apply this paste on your knuckles rub in for about you know up to 10 minutes or so you should do this every day this will help to reduce darkness and make your skin your knuckles even the hyperpigmentation of age spots dark spots on your hands much lighter and with this one you'll pretty much see a difference immediately now the third treatment is just to take two tablespoons of baking soda, one to three tablespoons of plain or Greek yogurt or sour cream or even whole milk and make a soupy paste. Rub this all over your hands and rinse. And then of course, with all of these, make sure you moisturize. And with this one, you will see immediate improvement right before your eyes. Continue this three times a week for maintenance. And the fourth recipe is to take one teaspoon of almond oil. Almond oil is full of monosaturated fatty acids, vitamin E, potassium, proteins, zinc, and a number of other vitamins and minerals that will lubricate the knuckles. Now to that one teaspoon of almond oil, add two tablespoons of raw honey. The honey is going to help brighten and smooth your knuckles. And then we're going to add in a half cup of sea salt. Sea salt will exfoliate your skin on your hands by slowing off the dead skin cells, allowing smoother and healthier skin cells to take their place. Then add in a half teaspoon of turmeric. Turmeric effectively resolves hyperpigmentation as well as melanin production. Just massage this mixture on your hands, concentrating on your knuckles if you have problems there. Do this for two to three minutes and leave the mixture on for about 30. Sit with it for about 30 minutes. Then afterwards, rinse everything off with lukewarm water. Make sure you moisturize your hand. You can also moisturize with oils. Some of the oils that I recommend are jojoba oil or avocado oil or even grapeseed oil. Make sure you do this treatment at least three times a week if this is the treatment of your choice. Now I did make a video not long ago regarding a very, very simple remedy. Now this one is so easy. I do this one anytime I have a bowl of cereal, which is a couple of times a week. Very simple to do. It's just to take whole milk. Exactly. Just rub this all over your hands. This is going to soften your hands. It's going to help to make them brighter. It's going to help even exfoliate. The lactic acid in milk will help to exfoliate your hands. If you don't have whole milk in liquid form, you can also mix the powder with water. Heck, you can even mix these two together, which helps to make it out of a little paste and it'll be easier for the milk to actually adhere to your hands. Rub this on, do this three times a week, leave it on for a few minutes before rinsing, and of course, moisturize your hands. Beautiful babes. I hope this wasn't too lengthy. I hope it wasn't too much going on, but you know, if you wanna keep the hands looking great, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm your girl, Sweet Angel, bringing you something I know you can use, and I know that you've asked for it time and time again. I do have videos throughout the channel that you can check out. However, I know sometimes it's so much easier for me to go ahead and just bring these things back to the limelight again. I am so glad that you asked for the video and I'm so glad I can bring it to you. If you were here for it, please go ahead and drop a like on the video. Let me know you were here for it. Again, if you're new to the channel, please introduce yourself in the comments. I appreciate that so much. And so will everybody else. We are a family of folks that's working together to make things happen. And I appreciate each and every one of y'all for making this channel what it is today. We are nearly 500,000 strong don't mess with us don't play mm -mm. but anyway beautiful babes i'm your girl sweet angel signing out for now if you enjoyed it like 
make sure you subscribe, hit the little bell, leave a comment down below if you don't have anything to say, drop me some hearts and make sure you introduce yourself. And for the ones that's been around for a while that enjoys my content, thank you so much for doing what you do. And that is sharing me with your world. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.